Gabriel Orozco trained in Mexico. He emerged as an artist in the early 90s who was absolutely uh, situated against painting. He made particularly ephemeral forms of art, not paintings, not traditional sculptures. He w made many works that were made out of the debris of the city in a way. The starting point for this exhibition is a single work, The Eye of Go from 2005. In many ways you could have taken any work by Gabriel Orozco and put it at the centre of your thinking. But this work seemed to me to be not necessarily the best, but the point was to put this work at the centre of my thinking and see how you could chart the relationships with the other work that he's made. If circles are not simply a, a form in a composition, but if they act or do something, how do they do that? And so to begin with one work and make a constellation of other works around it and to try and think about that central question. I don't think you will have any answers to the, in the kind of um, mystery or what they are, they are trying to do, this type of graphic developments or graphic uh, experiments. If you think just in Mondrian or in the grid or even in Duchamp in the case of the acetates, I don't think you will get the answer. It has its own development, its own uh, pro projection, its own consequence, even independent of myself. So it's just like you have a set of, uh, the, you take some decisions, some set of rules, and then the, 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 the system starts to work on its own somehow. And somehow they are, the kind of bone structure of the, the thinking process and they are behind many of my more recognizable works and that's why that's something that just happened like that, that was not even my intention because I changed a lot but somehow this system has been working on in my brain in the way I think for many years. <laughs>